morning, it's 8 o'clock on the 3rd, 32nd day on trail. It's real chilly in this valley, but, and the bugs are already like starting to come out, but no condensation, so thankfully everything's dry. Five miles down to the railroad track, three miles up to Molas, get my resupply box, and then see if I can't run into Magic Tent. At that point, I'll do some numbers, look at the map and the elevation profile, see what kind of lies ahead. So far, it's a great morning for hiking. Be a good one. Just gotta make it up this little hill. All right, breakfast, second breakfast. It's almost time for lunch. I'm trying to make it before I bonk out. Go, Snimbo, go, go, go. Dropping into Mullis Lake Campground. Magic tent, got an orange, boom. There's more fun to be had, but my first stop really needs to be over here at this thing so I can get my box and uh, figure out what else uh, this next 75 miles is going to look like. And then maybe I'll hang out at the tent. Ooh, look at that. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice lake. Starting to just like explode my pack all over the place. And uh, it was really funny. This like lady rode, they came by. She's like, are you through hiking? So they're sure, yeah. She's like, I'm gonna give you some snacks, but I'm in a social distance. So she like left them there at the table. <laughs> Super cool. Uh, this place is nice. Uh, real scenic. Yeah. Molas Lake, owned and operated by the town of Silverton, Colorado. It's uh, it's really pretty here. A lot of people fishing. I think it's stocked by uh, DNR. But there's no walk-up campgrounds here, but that's all right. It's almost two. Just got my resupply. Got plenty of food. I probably got a little bit too much food, but I think um, just over here somewhere. There's a magic tent with some boondockers. I'm gonna go see what's up with them. Let's go. I think I found them. We'll see. I don't know. Where else I'm gonna find the magic tent? Look at this. Look how wonderful this is. Tea kettle. Cold water, got a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything up in here. How couldn't I just want to take off my shoes and just kind of hang out for a minute, you know? What else am I supposed to do?
Look who's here. Good morning, it's the 4th of August, making it the 33rd day on trail. I'm um, just like hanging out in the Maven Raw, like magic tent of Vortex. And uh, I'm just appreciating this view behind me. I was sit sitting here for a minute and there was like nobody passing by except for like some climbers. I don't know where they're climbing, but it seems to be a popular area. People with their gear, their ropes, their harnesses and that. And here we got uh, Elijah who's just like trying to like bomb this video, which is cool. <laughs> Elijah, what do you have to say today? Uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> It's a beautiful day, though. It is a beautiful day, and <laughs> I was just kicking here. I was about to leave, and then, uh, you know, some really good people just rolled up, so I think I might just sit here for a little bit longer. So <laughs> we'll see where we make today. 75 miles from Durango. Just still just, like, crunching numbers in my head, and I think it's still feasible, even if I hang out here for a better part of the day. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> All the other hikers are gone. It's just me. Um, it's like getting really bright. It's real hazy today. It's 10. <laughs> I'm not setting myself up for success today. Bean casserole. Always good. There you have it. A little stop off in town. The things that you can get on out. Well, I didn't make it terribly far today. I haven't just been sitting here all day long. I, uh, I have moved my camp um, about 100 yards. <laughs> and otherwise, just been hanging out, taking this view in and just enjoying the on-trail vortex it's been a nice break and uh yeah right i was i was trying to leave you know i was about ready to hoist my pack and a couple of hikers came in and just gave me a little pause and then i was just kind of like tidying up the camp um because i was the only one there and then uh one thing led to another and it got kind of warm and the sun was just right overhead and then i took a trip to town um went to the coffee shop charged a couple of things up Talk to the local barista about life in Silverton. It's really interesting. Yeah. These places are really interesting. But yeah, here at the On Trail Vortex, I think it's uh it's been really nice. A lot of people that have kind of seen on trail but haven't had a chance to like, you know, even chat with for a, for a little bit. And just a chance to kind of get to know each other a little bit better. <laughs> you know, and just uh just enjoy each other's company. And already there's like six tents, so it's like more people than were camped here yesterday, with a long trail zero. So I think it should be fun just kind of hanging out with everybody. I think this is a really good recharge too. 75 in, I got three and a half days, so I'll make it happen. It really encouraged me just to, um, you know, just finish strong. It's kind of like a natural pause here for a lot of people. I'm um, just like kind of just thinking about the trail and, and, and enjoying like, you know, this fantastic scenery. And uh, just kind of thinking about thinking about what it's going to be like in Durango, you know, just taking this moment, I think, to start reflecting on that. So, yeah, it's been really good. So I'm going to go back over to the tent and just, you know, watch the sunset, hopefully the moonrise, and uh, try to hit it early in the morning. <laughs> 